What if you discovered that you have superpowers? Imagine you had the power to control things with your mind. What would you do? Would you practice every day to control these powers and understand your skills? Or would you just let things go aimlessly as life goes and just hope for the best, never practicing and wondering why do things keep going the way that they go? But what if I told you you do have a superpower and you do have the ability to control your destiny, to control how you handle situations, what you learn, where you go, and what you want? Your power is choice. Now, some call it free will, some call it the law of attraction, but choice is universally the most amazing ability that we have. From small decisions like what you eat or how active we are to bigger decisions like forgiveness, clarity, and freedom from our past and our pain. There are skills that we don't consider skills like confidence, awareness, focus, courage, stillness, our self-worth, and our belief systems. Not around religion, but about ourselves and those around us. If we change our thought pattern to realize that these are abilities that we practice and not anyone is just born with them, but they are skills that we develop and together we get stronger as we work on them. Once you realize this, you can practice to be able to take control of your thoughts and ultimately take control of your entire destiny. Whether you're following your goals or your dreams or if you're aimless, this is your choice. Now we distract ourselves in self-preservation so that we don't feel like we're failing. And by getting out of the game or not playing at all, we feel like we're going to be saving ourselves from the pain of failure. So we use television or playing games. We distract ourselves from our pain with drinking, drugs, food. There will be a distraction there to stop you from working on you. You stop developing your skills. You stop looking at your goals. You stop dreaming. Ultimately, this is a choice. We see clever memes every single day. After the storm, there will be a rainbow, which is cute, but it doesn't give you anything to practice or train. The first skill that we practice in everything is a choice is we practice awareness. It doesn't seem like it should be a skill that you practice, but it's the most important one of all. You can't make a choice over things you don't know about. If you can't see it, you can't make a decision about it. Mastering these skills allows you to start combating things that have been holding you back this whole time, your fears, your self-doubt, your self-worth, the things that you are afraid to face because you may be rejected or you'll hit failure. But these are all things that everyone goes through and our perception of how to handle these things gives you your freedom to be able to achieve anything. We praise people who have the courage to go after something, even though it's going to be difficult. But that's where your true power comes from. The ability to choose to persevere, the ability to continue forward, even when it's hard. The most important ability is just to choose not to quit on yourself. And we teach you to find all of these things again, what to focus on. So that way you can see that you had the power all along. You truly do have a superpower. And if we change our mindset on what that really means, you realize that you always had a choice. You may not like all the choices that come your way, but you do ultimately get to decide how do you handle it and what do you do next. If you join us in Everything is a Choice, go to the next part, watch more if you want to, or reach out to our support team, and you too can join into our next set of classes. This has been life changing. We focus heavily on the emotional intelligence and the logical side of things to give you a cognitive awareness that you get to choose how you handle things in your day-to-day -day life. We treat everything as skills and practice, and we're always working to move forward. Click the link below, join the next classes, and take your power back.